How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Turkish IP address from anywhere. Now, there are a few ways of changing your IP address, but the most consistent and safest and quickest way of doing so is by using a VPN. So I'm going to be using ExpressVPN as an example today. If you're interested in Express, uh, I'll be linking some deals and discounts in the description down below, including NordVPN and Surfshark if you're interested in possibly cheaper options since Express is really the most premium of services uh, when it comes to VPN service providers out there. Now, let's get straight into it. What is my IP address is going to think that I'm in the UK, as you can tell here. Just trying to show you guys that this actually works. Now, now if I just refresh and yeah, you can tell that I'm in the UK. So it's the same principle for every single VPN, really, once you have it. You, you're going to have to find your locations list or country list. Uh, most of them will just have it on the, on, the, on the main page or, you know, you'll be able to find them right away. In ExpressVPN's case, it's literally the first option. And you're going to either look it up or just go down to uh, the list in where your country should be uh, under. And here we have Turkey and there we go as soon as i'm connected i'm going to refresh and it should think that i am in turkey right now and as you can tell this should be working any second now there we go so now that it you know it works what if you want to understand your uh vpn a little bit more now okay i mentioned um netflix uh, excuse me i mentioned nordvpn and surfshark earlier and you might be wondering, hey, okay, so I'm, I'm sold. I want to change my VPN, but why should I buy uh, ExpressVPN over the other two? Now, let's say you live in Turkey. You're going to want to get, you know, Turkey, as far as I know, is a very restrictive country when it comes to online activity and there's like censorship and stuff like that. So in if you're living in a country like that, I wouldn't think that it's you're kind of worth uh, having the authorities involved with you or anything like that, it's, I don't think it's it's worth uh, kind of the trouble. So I would just recommend ExpressVPN. It's really the safest. Um, in 2017, uh, the Turkish government seized a, an ExpressVPN server and tried to get information out of it to investigate the Andrei Karlov assassination, and they could not get any information out of that. So if they if the government could get couldn't get any information by well in this specific kind of uh, situation it was turkish investigators uh, that seized uh, the turkish servers in in uh, the express vpn uh, servers in turkey and they still couldn't get any information out of it yeah that's i mean it's about as much <laughs> as safe as it gets really as private as it gets you know the, the, if you need any more evidence than that then yeah i don't know what to tell you but if you're not so concerned with privacy let's say or or security you can go with NordVPN and you'll still get plenty of um, benefits here. You know, you get double VPN, you get, uh, you know, the, the, the essential features, which obviously ExpressVPN also has, uh, such as split tunneling, uh, only use DNS, uh, ExpressVPN DNS servers. That'll, that is it's just a kind of an extra layer of obfuscation with ExpressDNS. Uh, it'll give you more security and it'll force the ExpressVPN DNS on your device so that it prevents any data from leaking. Uh, obviously, you get you also get a, a kill switch. A kill switch will uh, sever your internet connection when your VPN uh, disconnects. So if you didn't know when you're using a VPN, you're actually using the encrypted servers of the VPN providers, uh, servers, the, the, the VPN servers, which are encrypted and secured. But the moment you turn off your VPN, you will revert back to your ISP servers and that will kind of expose whatever online activity you're doing because obviously they're monitored servers when it comes to your ISP servers. So the kill switch will make sure that you're, if you're not connected to the VPN, then you won't have internet access. It's as simple as that. Protocols, you know, you, you got your standard protocols, but the only protocols that are actually usable are OpenVPN and Lightweight. Lightweight is great for mobile devices because it uses less battery and it's great for Netflix uh, um, uh, unblocking geo restrictions in Netflix. If you're looking for the best security, um, you, you can use OpenVPN because that'll, yeah, if you're living in a restrictive country like Turkey, for example, just go with OpenVPN. It's the best when it comes to security.
and I already explained this. So you, you, you know, you still get these features, but with NordVPN, you actually get a couple of extra features such as the app kill switch, which will kill the application itself. It'll terminate the application instead of terminating your um, internet. And obviously you get split tunneling and you get obfuscated servers, which is already turned on by default for ExpressVPN. So that'll be it. And oh, by the way, if I didn't mention that earlier, you also get dedicated IP and double VPN, which connects you through two IP addresses for extra security at the cost of speed. And for Surfshark, you still get uh, these, you know, the basic um, features, which is whitelister, uh, which is uh, split tunneling. And you get, uh, oh, by the way, you get an ad blocker with a NordVPN and Surfshark. You may not get that with ExpressVPN, but yeah, their <laughs> ExpressVPN is more focused on, on privacy and security, really. So yeah, you still get a kill switch and you know, you get your, your, your selection, a good selection of um, protocols here, but the only usable ones are really just OpenVPN, UDP and WireGuard. Uh, and it's the same for NordVPN. The only usable ones are going to be OpenVPN UDP and NordLynx, which is their own version of WireGuard based protocol. Uh, again, just like Lightway and ExpressVPN, it's great for mobile devices and streaming. So I would definitely recommend that. Unless you're, using, unless you're in a country where it's like really restrictive and there's a lot of heavy censorship laws and stuff you want to use openvpn which is uh, the udp option which is the most secure one so yeah uh plus expressvpn allows you up to five devices uh you can secure up to five devices per subscription nordvpn gives you six devices and surfshark gives you unlimited devices so that's one really cool kind of uh, thing it, it, it that really makes surfshark the best budget option you can find in the market so yeah that'll be it for this video if you guys are interested in any of these vpns you'll find links in the description down below and uh if you have any comments uh, or questions i'll be happy to answer them in the comments below and if you'd like to stay up to date go ahead and like and subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day